freedom. I bring you greeting from here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, depending on your time zone and your geographical location. My name is Mazi Victor Onyido, and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, this is a program that was designed to bring you the in-depth analysis of all the happenings around us and uh, everything that you need to know about what is going on here uh, in the zoo called Nigeria. Of course, today I'm not alone in the studio. I am with uh, Mazi Oge Friday. Mazi Oge Friday, good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you say hello to Bia France? Hello, Bia France, uh, lovers of freedom. Good morning and uh, thanks for joining us this morning. All right, thank you very much, um, Mazi Oge Friday. Of course, uh, we, we are waiting to have Mazi on the way who also join us as soon as he can in order to analyze and uh, to also educate our people on the intricacies of uh, what we have on ground. Of course, uh, this is a program that is meant to educate you and to enlighten you on all the things that you need to know, all the things that you have to know, because this is a place where we don't hide the truth. This is a place where we expose the lies of the zoo, because every blessed day by day, when you go out to listen to uh, the news that is coming from all the zoo social media houses, they will keep churning up lies upon lies from one lie to another. Of course, Nigeria is built upon a foundation of lies. That is why every other thing to make it stand is going to be lies upon lies. But on this very platform, we come here to expose all their lies. We come here to talk about those things they would easily shy away from, those things they would not like to talk about. That is why we created a platform like this. So we can do good to share our program in all the social media spaces, in all the shareable spaces. Make sure you share it far and wide. Make sure it goes to the enemy, it goes to the people that are criticizing what we are doing. Let them come to this very platform. This is where they will hear the truth. We are on Periscope, of course. We are on Skype, we are on YouTube, we are on Facebook, we are on WhatsApp, we are also on Twitter. And also you can do good to log on to our website, which is www.bfantv.co. And also, yeah, you can listen to us via Radio Biafra London, because we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor Onida, and I welcome you to today's uh, Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course... Uh, I have Mazel Father with me here in the studio, and uh, Mazel is, is also going to be joining us as soon as he can. And I believe today the network will not be a problem to that. Of course, uh, Mazel Father, I welcome you once again. Thank you very much. All right, uh, you know, today we have some number of issues that we are going to look at, but uh, I would like us to take a look at them one after the other. First of all, we are going to start with this very one. Some, it's a just very short piece that was wrote, uh, written by uh, a comrade in this very struggle. It goes like this. It says, Interpol is not zoo DSS. They are governed by civilized rules and protocol. So for the benefit of those deranged zoo animals who are of their God-given natural ignorance think that an arrest warrant against Mazinam Dekano is enforceable outside Nigeria. Please think again. Mazinam Dekano was a political prisoner, not a murderer or terrorist. So Interpol will never help the zoo illiterate monkeys. Well, uh, that was the wrong one. But uh, from your own perspective, uh, how, you know, he made a point that uh, Interpol is not like uh, the uh, zoo Nigeria DSS that uh, goes about arresting people unlawfully. So what would you make of it, Mazi, on Friday? Yes, um, the issue leading to the recall of Namdekano's bear is such that the Nigerian government is very much, uh, you know, interested in. They want to see to the downfall of IPOB and Mazen Namdekano. By all means, they will go far to make sure that they achieve this goal. But unfortunately to them, they have met the end of the road as long as that their quest to stop IPOB is concerned. Arresting Namdekano will be the final thing that the zoo called Nigeria will never ever achieve with this condition of using Interpol. Why? Because we are talking about people that knows the law. We are talking about people who are civilized. We are talking about people who reason like human beings, civilized human beings, not animals, in the wider bush. 
these people who are bought with money we are very much sure and we know that in the Nigerian government they have gone far they can achieve anything they want to achieve as long as money is involved they can bribe anybody anywhere but the truth is that as long as this case is concerned more international communities more persons more world leaders are very much interested on it more than ever before than now so nigerian government maybe because Binta Nyaku all of a sudden record Namdekano's bear and they may use you know try to use interpol of course that's what the leader of ipob prayed for and they should come or they should even if they like let them go and uh, bribe uh, I, uh, what do you call them um, interpol to come and arrest him that would even be make it better and you know make the game more interesting because the the ease of nigeria government and their sham court will be exposed more and more what bintan yako has done will be exposed because on you know bringing this matter to the interpol then then the leadership of ipob is going to challenge them you know in court just like IP, uh, leader of IPOB said during his last broadcast that he's going to take them to court and that is exactly what he's going to do so that the ease of Nigeria government will be seen from the international perspective all right thank you very much Mazi okay Friday um, I will come back to you shortly I think uh, we'll have Mazi Evis around Mazi Evis let me welcome him Mazi Evis good morning yes um good morning my Victor Nido and uh, Mazo Friday. How are you? And, um, I say happy new month. Morning. I'm good. I say happy new month to you all. Uh, as you can see, we're all okay with being able to see this new month. And I want to thank Goka Bema for all of us, even the man behind the screen. Goka Bema bless each and every one of us and all our listeners. See. All right, can you say hello to Bia fans listening and watching you all over the world? Yes, um, Bia fans. Hello, um, I welcome you again into today's editions of um, Exposing the Lies of the Zoo. So, Biafra is the best university you can attend in life. So, keep listening and uh, make sure you uh, come along with your daughters and uh, your friends. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. I think uh, you stayed there while I read out the second uh, article that I have here because we are treating a lot, uh, a whole uh, number of issues today, but we want to start with the ones that uh, has to do with what we've been treating since this week. Uh, this one goes like this. Uh, Mr. Adeshina Daramola Demo wrote, When I say Biafra order, then I'll keep pushing. Stopping IPOB and Nam the Kano is, is wasting their time. That is not what the people are interested in. That is not the problem of the people now. That is not a problem of the country. You know, people like uh, Rwanda, they are launching so many, uh, you know, uh, satellites to better the lives and the activities of the country. But here in Nigeria, they are still struggling to make sure that uh, they, you know, get a company that can produce toothpick. It's very laughable. That Nigeria cannot even manage or perhaps look into what matters a lot, but they are just laboring over the yarn of leprosy instead of laboring to stop the leprosy entirely. So, trying to rearrest Nam the Kano is just a waste mission. Many people understand it that way, they understand it as well that they are going to waste everything, they are going to waste their resources, their time, and everything. And in the end, they are going to end up exposing themselves, just like I said before, to the international communities further and further more. And the time is coming when you can no longer uphold the truth you must be forced to say the truth irrespective of how much that was involved you know how much you were you know bribed with irrespective of the forces that is withholding you from speaking out for uh, the truth there's a time it will reach to just like Iwa did say when you will hear what tell you i can't fall you free away to her if you raise something that belongs to a child up at the time when your hand will start paining you will be forced to bring it down so all these people that we see, the international communities, they are just collecting their money and putting inside their pocket. You don't really understand what is happening here. That is just a, 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 a effort in futility. All right. Thank you very much, Mazi Ogo Friday. Of course, I will come back to you shortly. Of course, Mazi Ogo is on the way. I welcome you once again. Can you hear me, Mazi Ogo? Yes. 
Okay, all right. Uh, I want you to come in at this very point. You know, the first issue we raise is uh, the uh, a short article that was written by one of our comrades who titled it that uh, Interpol is not the same as uh, the Zoo DSS. I believe you have my, the details as I read it out by then. Uh, what would you make of it? I want you to start from there. Yeah, my brother, um, what I can make of this is to um, try to make some little points out of uh, what the Bingo Yako has just uh, she accepted. Um, but before I step further, I would have loved to ask Bingo Yako how many Boko Haram have to be rearrested. Um, El Mustafa, that was released by Good Lord Dennis, uh, just about all his atrocities, his feelings, feelings, and, uh, many. have they been able to uh, kind of arrest him or try him and the truth and so on and so forth what is or what was the, our leader's offense has our leader killed everybody has our leader did anything how many of them have been able to pay the sum work of a good amount of money that our leader has paid to the Nigerian government Nigerian business and the court is stated very funny and uh, at the same time, they refuse to do the need to, to do their first investigations as, or as, as, a, as a court that uh, is uh, uh, trying to be a culprit. In which they refuse to do this arrest, I think all they were doing is to issue a, 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 an arrest warrant with the, 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 the government and the stupidities of their evil acts. Let me just tell you, most of the time, I wonder if this should pass. If these people do things, if these people do a kind of reason, like the one who just thought that the person that they are killing is just a novice, forgetting that that very guy is intellectual, he's a he's a he's a he's intelligent, and uh, now he has a great desire to talk. But uh, he's a You know, you don't just talk to him or a kind of uh, speak to him anyhow. That is to show you the level of. Uh, understand the kind of, kind of uh, efficient system that is on the zoo where the teacher is from Sharia, a man that has not got any local uh, uh, kind of thing uh, 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 the teacher of the federation of uh, the construction you know? so my brother um, the issue now is not about inter forever you know because they, they, they know that that is a, a, a journey of impossible for that wonderful submission of course uh, 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 from the uh, point you just raised there uh, you know the stage is, is staged now for two things to happen I mean two we are facing two things now and uh, we are expecting one to happen it's either the zoo people and their element will find a way to bribe the Interpol or the Interpol will definitely turn them down. From your own perspective, what do you think is likely to happen at this very particular point in time, by the stage is stage now? Now, um, if Nigeria is eventually double into this whole trap that they have set for themselves, I am telling you that the things that have been hidden, those things that have been hidden out from the international community will be exposed because 
They have a lot of issues, but uh, the IPOB uh, family is not to sue them. And uh, before the, the, the arrest should be uh, uh, kind of approved by the international uh, uh, interpol, they must do some investigations and uh, the, the, the corporate or the person they want to arrest on the right to sue them and they determine where the case is, uh, is going to be judged or uh, where the case is going to be tried. So for that reason, uh, it Every, every sound the way for our wonderful submission. Of course, I will come back to you in a very short time. All right, Mazi, every Friday. You, you've had Mazi uh, uh, and I'm sure you must have uh, gotten one or two points from there. But from your own submission, do you think uh, Interpol itself, or as an uh, organization that is in charge of uh, you know policing the world, do you think uh, there is a way Nigerian government and her elements can bribe? their way into Interpol in order to get them to arrest Mazin and the Kano. There was a time we were on a program uh, told you that anybody can be bribed. Even the United Nations can be bribed. Anybody on earth as long as it is Nigeria because they have so much money to spend. But this time around we are talking about denting the image of the entire body you represent. And I'm very much sure the Interpol that everybody of us or all of us know cannot risk their jobs and their personalities and what they represent to the extent of you know doing that or trying to work with Nigeria in this in this in this way. All of us know the truth that is involved here. So they also make their own investigation as well. And is exactly what we've been waiting for. Should they come? Because you understand. So when somebody is uh, lamenting, another man is there, you know, crying, I mean, having more fun, enjoying himself or herself over a course that happened. So they are not even going to try it. But the Nigerian government will know. They will try to make some move. Maybe use some millions of dollars and all of that whooping money. But their hands are tied up. This okay, um, Mazu Gifabe, let me come in here. You know, when you look at uh, what transpired during the uh, just concluded uh, sham called election in the zoo here, you see that uh, some members of uh, the international communities uh, compromise their standard, they compromise the etiquette of uh, 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 international, in, I mean, international observation. You know, pleasure, pleasure to to be bought, to be bought, or to be bribed. We're not going to put it to them that way, but we are trying to bring it to the general perspective. What could be possible, and what could also, you know, uh, go to result out of the action they may take. So, should they allow government of Nigeria to bribe them in in a way that they turn against them, they can or turn truth upside down it is going to affect them because this is something that in the end of everything the truth must prevail that is one thing that everyone should know nigeria is a marketplace that is true anybody who is doing business with nigeria or anybody who is coming to work in nigeria be it as an international observer or whatever an ambassador representing another country you you, you go back a million year or even yourself a billion year depending on how willing you are to you know trade with them but this time around we are talking about something that cannot be possible it is an impossible mission no matter the angle you you want to come from no matter how you try it is something that you cannot you, you cannot fool everybody at a time that is just something you should know the time is coming when people begin to ask you so many questions that you cannot be, be providing answers to so for them to even try in a means of going to near the interpol you know, to their own side or to join their bandwagon, it is going to be an impossible mission. That is one thing they should know for now. It is going to bring more damages to their images. It is going to bring more damages to their system and what they have been laboring for all this while. So let them never think of that one. Let them start uh, strategizing because this one, let them count it out. It's all not right. going to work. Okay, thank you very much, Abdullah Mazegi Friday. Of course, uh, the fans and all of us of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Oyindo. 
of course you can do good to share our program in all the social media spaces we are on periscope we are on youtube we are on skype we are on twitter we are on facebook and we are also on whatsapp you can do good to log on to our website which is www.biafrantv.co and of course you can listen to us via radio Biafra london for benefit of those who don't have any access to watch us live and direct you can use your uh, listening device your word receiver and um, what have you to listen to us via radio Biafra london because we are transmitting concurrently on radio Biafra london of course uh, this morning we are looking at some important and some number of uh, issues and uh, I'm not alone in the studio. I have Mazi Ogio Friday with me here in the studio. And of course, uh, Mazi Ogio Samudiwe is also standing by and also he's doing the great work of educating and enlightening our people because this is Biafran television. And our duty here is to expose the lies of the zoo because the zoo, Nigeria, is a country that is built upon lies. The foundation of Nigeria is lies. And our duty is to expose those lies so that the world will see the truth and uh, differentiate it from lies. Of course, uh, um, Mazo referred to, before we go ahead, I would like to also read the second uh, article we have here. The uh, headline goes like this, uh, breaking news, Nigeria ranked sixth most miserable country in the world, published March 31st, 2019. All right, I read the details. An economist from John Hopkins University in Baltimore, USA, Steve Hankey has ranked Nigeria as the sixth most miserable country in the world. The ranking is titled Hankey's Annual Misery Index 2018, the world's saddest and happiest country, writing in the Forbes magazine of March 28. The economist knows that a misery index is calculated using economic indices such as unemployment, inflation, and the rates banks charge on loan. In the sphere of economic misery tends to flow from high inflation, steep borrowing, cost and unemployment. Hanky warns the index note that the high rate of unemployment in Nigeria contributes largely to its unflattering rates on the misery index. Hanky in his uh, explanatory note wrote, the original misery index was just a simple sum of the nation's annual inflation rate and its unemployment rate. The index has been modified several times by Robert Barrow of Harvard and then by myself. My modified misery index is the sum of the unemployment, inflation and bank lending rates minus the percentage charge in the real GDP per capita. Higher reading on the first three elements are bad and make people more miserable. These are offset by a good GDP per uh, capita growth, which is subtracted from the sum of the bads. A higher misery index score reflects a higher level of uh, misery. And it is a simple enough metric that a busy president without time for extensive economic briefing can understand a glance. Thailand and Hungary rank as the least miserable country in the world. And the uh, misery index having ranked 95, 95th and the 94th respectively of the 95th country ranked by Hanke. Venezuela, Argentina, Iran, Brazil and Turkey lead in that order while Nigeria is the sixth in, the rank, in that ranking. The full report is published by Forbes magazine. All right, Amazi Ogre Friday from this very report that we have here, uh, uh, ranking Nigeria as the sixth <laughs> world most miserable yeah, country. Did, I must say that, did you uh, totally agree with that? I must, I must uh, say that there has been a mistake from the people that did this calculation. Maybe there was something that went wrong in their system. <laughs> why why do you say that? Why they were making this uh, final, you know, result? Because Nigeria, we know. If it is the Nigeria, we know. This Nigeria, no, Nigeria should be the first, not the sixth, most miserable country in the world. And why do you say so? <laughs> what is working in Nigeria? How many Nigerians are working? They are even talking about uh, employment. How many Nigerians are working? Now, there is hungry everywhere. What is working? People are hungry. How many Nigerians, so-called, go to bed, you know, on hungry or feed on the three times square meal per day on a balanced diet? 
Now, how many Nigerians are able to live on maybe one dollar a day? Many, many millions of Nigerians are not able to do so. How many graduates, you know, go to school? Maybe how many graduates are unemployed in Nigeria today? Higher percentage of people that graduate are unemployed today. If you want to doubt what I'm saying now, call the persons that you graduated with, even for the past five years, you find out that few of them are, you know, employed. The, the employment is majorly self-employed, hustling to make both ends meet anyhow. But That is where you see that the the level of or the level at which people borrow is increasing in Nigeria, and there is no means of you know paying back this debt. All right, so anybody before. who is ranking Nigeria to be the sixth is making a worst is, is making a big mistake. Nigeria should be the first miserable country in the whole wide world, just right. in Africa. Thank you very much. That's it again Friday. That was a hilarious one. Although I'll come back to. that this is what has been happening that this is the level of the property this is the level of let me just tell you one secret thing you don't know the international communities and the politicians are using this very phrase this very uh result for materialistic tendencies and selfish advertisement so whether they announce it or not they are renewing the contract of their their, their robbery because I want to present this very issue to the United Nations. They will use it to rob in the sense of trying to help the masses that they are not living up to us, up to one dollar per day. And uh, they will reimburse them and uh, the, the money will be shared between the politicians and those people that uh, cannot come up with this very idea. So right from onset, I've not had any good news concerning Nigeria. It, 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 it continues to come from one evil report to the other every blessed day or every blessed year so i and uh, they've not been able to come up with a solution they've not been able to come up with a kind of uh, what would they now do all these people that notice the international committee that are noticed that things are not working that nigerians are not living up to expectation how many of them have an investment in nigeria i just want to ask you how many of them have an investment to help the masses to reduce the unemployment to reduce the the, 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 the the inflections, to reduce the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the tyrannies and things that are being happening in that very place, not but they are good in giving uh, analysis, telling you the percentage, the, the level percentage, who and who did it, where did they scale it, from which scale, how did they do they put the Nigeria into scale to scale the notice and come up with it? Let me just tell you, that is my.
is the rationale and the indices in which they use in making this very uh, conclusion because uh, uh, they use the unemployment rate and the uh, borrowing i mean being uh, the stringent condition banks will Dead people already, those dead ones at uh, the mortuary will tell you that the Nigeria is the wretched country, the poorest country in the whole world. Even as they, 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 they analyzed and tried to say that Nigeria was the, I mean, Nigeria is the city. The, the people that did it was just trying to help them to kind of upgrade them into the systems. But we know, even the dead man knew that the poorest country in the whole world is the zoo after that comes india i mean the, uh, is it uh, india is yes, also uh, venezuela sorry you know so but like what i was trying to figure out there is these international communities they have companies uh, and uh, our people are struggling to go to every place to buy from them and export uh, bring it to the land how many of them they, yes they have the pity they have the conscience they have the very mind of Poverty eradications, but in the zoo, how many con how many companies? In short, they are helping to drill and to damage the country. But the, the, the problem I have with them is that they know the truth. They, they just judge this thing once and for all and allow us to go. Simple. All right. Thank you very much, Mazi. Every Sunday, of course, I will come to you shortly. Of course, uh, dear friends and all of us of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Oyendo, and uh, I'm not alone in the studio. I'm with uh, Mazi Ogio Friday, uh, who is with me here in the studio. Of course, uh, we are looking at the issues and uh, all the things that is happening in the zoo, because our duty here is to come here and expose all the lies of the zoo, all the lies they are turning now, because Nigeria is built upon lies, and everything about it is lies, and they need to support it with lies to continue existing. And our duty is to come here to expose all their lies. We can do good to share our program in all the social media spaces. We are on Skype, we are on YouTube, we are on Periscope, we are on Twitter, we are also on Facebook, and also on WhatsApp. You can log on to our website, which is www.biafra.tv.co. Of course, you can listen to us via Radio Biafra London, because we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. For benefit of those who don't have any access to watch us live and direct, you can listen to us. Call your people back home. Make sure they are listening to Radio Biafra. And if they don't have it, make sure they have it. Do the best you can to make sure that all the people in Biafra land are listening to us via Radio Biafra platform and also television. Once again, I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. I am Mazi Friday yeah, from the submission of uh, Mazi Elvis. You know, what we are looking at uh, the, is the index, I mean, the, 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 the platform by which they do the calculation. I want to know if he actually tallies with what we have because uh, only this year, I mean, uh, from last year to this year, close to, let's say, 7 million people have lost their job between the space of uh, two years. So do you think uh, with that rate and uh, with all that high level of unemployment and uh, poverty ravaging everywhere, do you think they can be correct in um, making that uh, statement? I will still put it again that yes, they are 100%, if there's something more than 100% correct, I will say they are more than 100% correct. That was why I said before that there, ha there must be something you know very wrong in their system or in their computer when they were about to release the final results because the nigeria we know is supposed to occupy the first position because if you check all these countries we are saying now at least they have move they make to make sure that they bringing more people into their workforce and better the lives of the people 
But here, instead of upgrading, it is degrading. Instead of Nigeria making it work, it is they are making it not to work. That is what we are saying. We know that there is problem in Nigeria. There is hunger everywhere. There is unemployment everywhere. There is problem everywhere. But money is coming out from Nigeria. But all of these things that is coming out, the oil revenues and everything that is coming out from Nigeria. Um, person occupying more than 20 offices or 20 uh, posts in the name of ghost working when you go to ministries now maybe if you take your time out to any local government just we start from there what you see as workers there will not be more than 10 pieces but if you go to the appeal rule you will see more than 100 names that they pay on monthly basis where are these hundred pieces or more you will not see them but when you go to the local government headquarters what you will see there will not be more than 10 if you go again you will see the same people if you go the next day you will see the same people but when you go to their payroll you will see more than 100 names Whoever is handling the Asorok, uh, what is his name, Jibril Asudani or Buhari, mm -hmm. any how you would put it, ever since he was announced as the winner of uh, this 2019 election, that a lot of uh, 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 companies, I mean international investors, withdraw 90% uh, uh, to 100% of their investments out of the country and withdraw their money, and that alone resulted to loss of uh, millions of uh, jobs. So, um, from your own perspective, what would you also make of that? That is exactly what Just the announcement. Yes. Instead of people coming to invest, they will be going back. Instead of increasing, it will be decreasing or depreciating. Why? Because any good investor hmm, will first of all calculate what is the employment rate of that company. I mean, sorry, of that uh, uh, country. What is their currency like? Is this something appreciable? What is their future plan like? What is the security of that country like? But if you come to check Nigeria now, you see that no good investor will come to invest his money here because it's going to be a waste of time. If you come and invest millions of dollars or billions of dollars here, when you know that nobody is ready to come and buy because there is because anything can happen you know the full and his men and the Boko Haram they go about throwing bombs then the government who's supposed to do something about this thing they are just lying there sleeping collecting the money every month the allocation and the what have you they keep quiet and they die it off nothing happens even the government cannot even come and tell say or give condemnation to what is happening so no good investor will like to go on with such again that is why if you blame people why they are not coming out to invest? I won't blame them because it is not their fault. There is no palatable environment for them to come and do any investment here. It doesn't work that way. There is nobody who will suffer and you know use his hard-earned money to come and invest in a place where he is not sure of return. Even if you say you will be looking for it. Your capital will be missing. Not talk of gain. All right.
Thank you very much, Mazi Ogil Friday. Of course, the first and all of us of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Oindo. And of course, I'm not alone today. I am. I have Mazi Ogil Friday with me here in the studio. He's doing the work of uh, educating and enlightening our people. And also, Mazi Elvis on the way, so also standing by doing the great work of educating our people. Of course, so we'll be going on a short break, and then when we come back from that break, we'll be ready to open our phone lines for you to call in to make your contribution. And uh, do good to share the program in all the social media spaces. Inform those who are not here to join you and listen. Don't listen alone. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Thank you. And that is what it is like. So irrespective of how much uh, the resources that is coming out from Nigeria as a result of the revenue oil, the lives of the people are nothing to write home about. And that is what we are trying to say here. That the only thing, the only solution to this mess is just to join forces together and restore the power to the indigenous persons that owns the land. With that, I believe the lives of the people will be made to have something to be rejoicing of. We will have something to, to, to rejoice of because it will be better for everybody. When the people who are to invest come, they will meet a good environment to you know invest their money. The environment will be there everywhere. Nobody will cheat another person for any reason. People will go to serve the government. They will serve very well. You will be paid. You graduate from school. You get a job. You out of your college. You go to the higher school to learn. If you want to go for apprenticeship, you go. You contribute to the development of the society. Not few individuals holding the entire millions of people to ransom. Those who could not even you know, manage their own home. But they are coming out because of born to rule mentality to okay. love your people into what is not even supposed to be talked about okay thank you very much emazi okay there for that wonderful contribution of course emazi every sound way are you still there yes my brother okay. Okay. um uh, please uh, from the submission of the last uh, second to the last caller do you totally agree with what he said um, because of the fact that the um, audio um, productions, I can you just uh, on nutshell give me exactly what the person just said, please. Okay, he pointed out about uh, the issue we are discussing concerning the the, the rating. He said that uh, the the rating wasn't uh, accurate. That Nigeria should be uh, should be occupying the first, second, and third position of that uh, ranking and. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how that is going to be okay. possible. So that's why I want you to react on that. Okay. Um, just like as I said before, um, let me just repeat it again. The dead man, those that are dead, I mean those in their graves, knew that Nigeria is the poorest country, the, 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 the most wretched country in the whole world. So anybody coming to tell you anything uh, that is uh, about that's anything more than that that very person is trying to cover up some certain things because uh, the construction called the zoo is only a place where you have jurisdictions legislative and uh, uh, other committees and whatever all of them are not working hand in hand a place where you will send your your case to um, uh, what they call it, EU 
court, they will now tell you to go to France to translate it into France, into French language. And uh, being that the Nigeria has not been able to take hearing of that very case in that very place for the very first time, they jumped it under uh, under inconclusive and went to the court and uh, uh, issue a, a kind of a revoke of uh, um, bail conditions and issue a, a kind of uh, arrest warrant. You know, trying to contradict themselves, doing the, the wrong thing at the right time. And um, in the areas of economics, they, they tell me where which company is working in Nigeria. They like uh, um, Batsin and Zodix, that is a PZ. They have left Nigeria to Ghana. Um, Liban has left Nigeria to Ghana. Cadbury has left Nigeria to Ghana. And uh, every other foreign country, I mean foreign uh, uh, companies in, in uh, the zoo has left. Why? Not because it, even in the, the shop right that is working, down, that is why they, 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 their product is very expensive because they, they, they power the generator they use to supply to cool and to uh, refrigerate things that are used to the inside of the shopping mall. So you now tell me what is the reason and what are the meaning, what is the gain of governments? A government that cannot put things in order, that cannot even uh, 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 secure employment for its youth. A government that could not even do anything to help the masses. Then what are the need of campaigning and voting on people are dying? It doesn't work dying for. Because you have been a kind of you have employed you have been employing yourself working Of course, that is the much we can take. And please, before I let you go, uh, would you have any last word of advice you are going to give to Bia France for we'll call it a shot for today? The only advice I will I will uh, kind of chip in is um, there is this story name that the brother that called Kelechi called from Lagos. You uh, were saying that the people that the man said that the people that we are judging for Bia are are uh, only evils. Well, I I don't have to I don't have to blame him. I don't have to uh, kind of uh, say uh, much about it. But um, maybe he, he, he thought that they are not that those people are not agitating for uh, restoration of Biafra. That's what I will.